Hi, Shang. Thank you for your time today. Now, the travel industry has been severely disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. What are the major priorities for the sector as travel volumes start to pick up? And thank you for um, having me. So in terms of travel, I think everybody's one really excited about travel coming back towards the later of this year. Um, in fact, over the last 69 months, we are already seeing our consumers um, doing domestic travel and leisure. Um, I think what is on the top of their mind is really uh, safety. Um, and that's something that you know, we work hard with in terms of um, our merchants. Um, at the same time, I think they're also focused on convenience and being able to do things on the fly digital. And so we're gonna see the adoption of using mobile digital um, accelerating. And do you expect to see a permanent shift in expectations from travelers and what will be some of the main changes? Yeah, um, I, I think definitely in the post COVID world, there's going to be things that are different, but I think people don't highlight enough those things that will still be the same. So I think um, getting, um, going to a place to really experience different things, a different culture, I think that is definitely going to stay. In terms of how people plan their trip, uh, there's going to be changes, of course. Um, I think a lot of it will be uh, pre-planning as well as in-destination booking, right? So uh, how do I avoid crowds? How do I make sure that I'm not lining up, queuing up? How can I use mobile and digital so that it's more convenient? We have a QR code, uh, contactless entrance, uh, helping the merchant with you know, context tracing. I think these are going to um, leverage technology to make things more efficient and more safe. But I think people's urges and demand and need to kind of experience the world, that will definitely be the same. Now, the adoption of digital technology accelerated during the pandemic. What new trends and innovations do you expect to see as the travel industry looks to rebuild and renew? Yeah, so um, what we have done is uh, multiple uh, functional upgrades. So for example, last year we launched Cloak Live. It's really before the consumer really hop on that plane, hop on that car, get a sense of what it is to kind of uh, do that activity or hear other people talk about it. So being more um, social outreach is really important. Um, second is really to help make sure that um, the process, the enjoyment of the attraction is more efficient. So for example, we have a theme park module that help people you know, don't rely on paper maps and perhaps it's safer. Also, they're able to check the waiting time, queuing time. And so again, they can better plan their time and avoid crowds. Now, the need for companies to demonstrate sustainable practices and purpose has come to the fore over the past year. How can the travel industry respond to this need in an effective and meaningful way? And does this shift pose a risk or an opportunity for the industry? I think it definitely poses an opportunity. Um, I think impact uh, traveling as well as ESG is a theme that uh, us as well as many of our stakeholders, including tourism boards, are constantly discussing about. It's really how do you ensure that travel continues to be a long-term mega trend and how do we do that responsibly? So um, again, it's kind of coordination amongst various stakeholders uh, platforms like ourselves, the merchants, uh, various governments and the consumers. I think everybody is inclined to make sure that we do our part to make sure that what we see and experience today are still around 20 and 30 years from now. And what leadership lessons have you learned during the pandemic? We've definitely learned a lot in 2020, is, uh, certainly not an easy year. Um, what we have learned as an organization is that change is the new normal and constant. Um, I think the better companies are those that are able to be agile and be adaptable and continue to engage with our employees to make sure that we're working towards a common goal. And like a lot of other companies, obviously we have made changes. Um, for example, uh, we are now very focused on domestic travel and leisure and have done really well in multiple markets. And we think that that's definitely here to stay. So um, in short, I think um, coping with change and being able to evolve is really uh, what we learned last year. Thank you, Shang.